Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are high above a mountain canyon in West Virginia. We will be watching the helicopter installation of various power line marker balls. Now the reason to mark power lines with marker balls is to provide visibility to light aircraft of power lines and infrastructure, thus both saving lives and protecting valuable property. This video is sponsored by PNR Technologies, makers of the power line marker balls we are about to see, and Haverfield Aviation, supplying helicopter installation services. Now technicians start the process on the ground where they assemble 90% of the marker itself. And the first power line marker ball you see here is called SpanGuard. This is a 36 inch diameter daytime power line marker in international colors, orange, yellow, and white. You see they use a clamshell technique to install this. You'll see this up on the line in a moment and some twist ties so they can quickly and easily open and install that marker ball on the power line. And now with our marker balls assembled on the ground, here comes our helicopter from Haverfield Aviation. They will start with a safety meeting on the ground pre-flight and then you will see our helicopter lift off and notice the platform here. Our aerial lineman will use that platform for a workspace and to transport the line marker balls up to the line. You can see the view from our GoPro camera mounted on the helicopter here as he approaches the neutral of this line. And he is going to mark this line with orange paint per the FAA advisory. 36 inch marker balls have to be 200 feet apart. And with the appropriate locations marked on the line, let's go back to the staging area and grab this yellow marker ball. You see he positions it right next to him on the platform as the helicopter goes back up and approaches the conductor. You see those plastic ties too, how he's going to use them to hold on to the ball. As we approach the line, notice the orange marking there on the conductor. And now he's just going to simply open up and clamp that clamshell around the conductor itself. Next he will take a magnetized cordless drill or wrench and tighten the nuts down on the bolts on the open side of the clamshell. And then quickly and easily wrap the spiral wires around the existing conductor providing a positive hold on the conductor without causing any line damage. Now, as previously noted, these daytime power line marker balls are called SpanGuard by PNR Technologies, who has also patented this clamshell method of application we see here. Because next we wanted to show you two more innovations from PNR Technologies on power line marker balls. You see this smaller orange ball that's being installed now is a PNR Technologies fast ball, so called because of the faster method of installation. And what makes it faster is these snap fast clamps you're going to see on the side. It still uses that clamshell technique, then snaps them into place. This is also a smaller marker ball, 20 or 24 inches versus 36 inches. And it's used for distribution lines around smaller airports and heliports. And then finally, we will take you to another location. This is in Oklahoma over a river. And we are going to be watching the installation of another PNR Technologies innovation. That is this span light, a self-illuminating marker ball and light that actually draws energy off of the wasted energy from a live conductor. Now the span light was developed in response to a 2015 FAA advisory requiring utilities to use lighted cantonary marker lights over certain crossings. And you will see here that the installation is a little bit different than what we've seen previously in the video. In this case, the aerial lineman simply attaches the bottom half of the span light using a couple of temporary clamps here, and then he will uh, attach U-bolts to each side of the bottom half of the span light, thus essentially hanging that bottom half on the conductor. And this square blue device he's putting in the middle of the span light right now is called a flux capacitor. That actually draws power off of the line to illuminate the two red LED obstruction lights. Any line carrying between 40 and 2,000 amps can illuminate a span light for about 15 to 25 years. And so now we just saw our helicopter and aerial lineman go back and pick up the top half of the span light. 
As he comes back out across the water, you'll see the lower half suspended on the wire. Simply going to place this top half and bolt it into place. And as we watch the rest of this span light installation, a quick note on the use of helicopters to install line marker balls. Helicopters make access to the lines easier than cranes, barges, or bucket trucks in many cases, thus saving utilities time and money in the installation of the line marker balls. So as our area lineman completes the installation of this specific span light, we will close with some shots of illuminated span lights at night. You have now seen our TND How video on the helicopter installation of power line marker balls. This video was sponsored by PNR Technologies, makers of the span guard, fastball, and span light marker balls we saw in the video and by Haverfield Aviation, provider of the helicopter services. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you as always for watching.